It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And boom! What's up guys, my name is and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, Episode 5. Now, I know it's been a while, um, I've been super excited to get this all finished with because I enjoy the story so much and some people might not be watching this series and I don't really care, it's fine. If you want to watch, it's all up to you. But I've been waiting to finish this for so long and it's, it's so, so good. And to finally get on to the last episode is going to be really amazing. So if you guys want to stay tuned to all my Minecraft videos and all my videos in general, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my Minecraft videos. With that being said, guys, let's carry on this Minecraft Story Mode adventure. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Oh. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend, such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. The better Jesse. And now poor Jesse is dead, having never learned his lesson. He ain't dead, fool. You may think he is, but he ain't. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> you wanna bet? We're in Beacon Town now. We're going to Beacon Town. This is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be a really cool fight. Ooh, woo. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Let's carry on, boys. I'm loving it. Whoa. We're underground? <laughs> Oh, we're gonna crawl yeah, underneath the thing that the admin didn't think to fortify these tunnels into town. Oh. Ah. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was, well, she was a little much, but having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. I guess she still scared me though. I think Zara's already done plenty in the fight against Romeo. And she's been at it a lot longer than we have. She deserves a break. Yeah, that's fair. Ugh, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that heckmouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Yes, things look impossible, and they might be. But I believe in all of us. Look how far we've come. Look at all the impossible we've already done. We can do this. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. Does Jack have a different color eye? I just noticed that. Us, but we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. He does. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. Here we go. 
go. I can't believe we're just hopping straight into it. Are we just gonna straight up just fight him? Oh, we came out of the mines. Oh, so no. Uh oh. Oh my god! That was bad. Okay. Looks like it's getting a what lot more What do you guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah. yeah probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Oh, I get to move now. Oh. Guys, admin. And he's with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Oh, no. Typical. I hope Ready they exactly help us. Where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And boom! through and through and he needs to be put down yeah I I guess you're right you guess now how about you run along and get that fireworks show ready for the big keynote hey eh? yes admin uh Jesse I think the admin's distracted. Yeah, we should grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. What? You were always so worried about Champion City, and now, one less thing to worry about. Psst, Olivia, Axel. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I just knew it. <gasps> Whoa, am I seeing double? Shh. Jesse. I... Yes. What is? Come on, I'll explain everything. You got them. We Thank have God. To be off the streets. To the map shop, quick. Can't believe we blew that city up. I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath the bedrock? Yeah, I still think you made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. 
What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside? Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we couldn't tell, I... Exactly. Look, the admin is good, but he's not good enough to have everyone fooled, right? It's a pretty good Jesse impression. I mean, a totally evil version, but... Why? Because he can... he yeah. just turns into us? I... You said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Hopefully. Petra! Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. It's insane. Nobody should have that much power. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's gonna pay for. Oh. I'm so glad you guys are okay. Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. <sighs> That'll be payback for what he's done to our poor shop. <sighs> <sighs> Come on, hopefully it's not a complete wash. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> Yeah, uh, used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. It's safer than being out in the open. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. Getting into that tower won't be easy. You think? Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. Okay, now we have to go explore stuff. Lovely. But where are we? Are we at the old, um... Wait, no, he's at his sh We're at his shop. Oh, okay, because I thought we were at his, um... What's it called? Uh, let's talk to Binta. Hey, Binta, adjusting okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. Okay, how about... Petra's obviously in a, in a pretty uh, weird mood. You really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. No, she's got a good point. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, I know. But seeing what happened to Champion City <sighs> has me a little more worried than I'd like, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. Okay. Ooh, what else we gotta look around for? Oh, we can't open this chest? Wait, can we? Ah, we can! What's in the chest? Good stuff. Come on. Looks like the admin's looters were thorough. There's nothing here. Oh, damn. That sucks. There is a lever. I want the lever. Levers are promising. Yeah. Wait, wouldn't Jack know what it is? Is this? Hey, Jack! Elytra? By the tides, I'd almost forgotten about that stash. Are these? Elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah. Got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? Who could it be? Is it Luna? <laughs> Luna! What? You made it! <laughs> I never doubted it. Oh! Well, I guess I deserve that. What? How did? She was stuck in the uh, the prison. How did? How did you get out of that prison? Good question. Because I broke them out. Ah. That makes sense. Ivor, what on earth were you just doing, hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you. Oh, oh my! Oh my gosh! Do you know who 
that is? That is Ivor, founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend. Standing <laughs> in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. And my shop is a complete wreck. Oh, this is so totally embarrassing. Hey, you're pretty legendary yourself, Jack. Just, Just play it cool around. Oh here. my god. Right, right, cool. Cool. Right, Weren't we part cool. of the Order of the Stone? Why aren't you happy that we we're here? Ivor, right? Sup? Not yes, that. <laughs> I am Ivor. And you are? They call me... This... <coughs> the Stab Walker. Yeah, that's a nickname. Yes. Sure. Hi. Hello, strange stab person. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. He fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. My story about you dying in your escape attempt? Admin loved it. And after the admin's appetite for justice was know. satisfied, Luna was be I returned there. to the I prison thought it by was cover be, um, of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Her owner? I I'm surprised, name. but this animal is quite the escape artist. I may consider naming her my apprentice, though she will need a mask. Luna, you saved us all. You really are a hero. <laughs> Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. You know about the terminal? What does it actually do? No idea! But you, the other you, spends a great deal of time within it. Just, okay. uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? Not a chance. Talking out? You? Wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. Well, that's not... You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah. Some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. The guy is capable Maybe of doing a distraction, anything. Like Jesse's How would you speech do that? at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. What's the plan? What are you thinking? Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this Stella! Thing? That's Stella. Perfect. Perfect. Never get backstage without fireworks skilled uniforms. So we find Stella and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up and boom! Backstage passes. <laughs> there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? <laughs> that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. Then the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers. <laughs> what is that still? See? A piece of cake. That might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. What? Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. 
This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. Champion City was torn down. We all saw it. Stella's been hurt by the admin, too. There has to be a way to get through to her. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. Well, Stella does know where the Fireworks Guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin. You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Oh. Jesse, <laughs> I know you think Stella's just another victim of the admin, but be careful, okay? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. All right, we're gonna stop it here. This has been the plan. So we got everything. We're gonna get the fireworks. We're gonna get on top of the the uh, tower to get the admin. I don't exactly know how we're gonna beat him, but as far as we know, this is the plan. Um, so far, it looks cool, and I'm glad we got Axel and um, I forgot her name. I'm I'm, I'm bad with names. But guys, I hope you guys are going to enjoy this uh, Minecraft Story Mode Season uh, 2. If you guys want to carry on and want to see some more of my Minecraft videos, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Guys, this has been Minecraft Season... Uh, Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, uh, Episode 5. So, I'll see you guys in the next one. So, stay frosty. Stay amazing. I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.